right, welcome back. Now, South Africa needs to become an emerging economy and not a submerging one. Well, the finance minister will have to tell us his plans to do just that today. But it's not an easy task with uh, 28 million people reliant on social grants and an unemployment rate of 34.9%. The president does say that government and the private sector must work together to create jobs. As you can see, the Gareth Edwards standing by at the Johannesburg Stock Exchange to actually explore more of this conversation. Gareth, uh, and I'm looking forward to the conversation you will have with SO2 to, to explore exactly how jobs can be created. That's right. It's the uh, Deputy President of the Black Management Forum, Esetu Mankmutwa, uh, joining us this morning. Esetu, so there's so much to talk about. Thank you for coming all the way to the JSC uh, to speak to us this morning. There's uh, a lot that the uh, Finance Minister has to try and cover. It's taxes, social grants, the red tape that we've been hearing so much about. Uh, what are you looking forward to as the Black Management Forum uh, most at 2 o'clock today? ENCA and the viewers. So as the Black Management Forum, we've kind of thought of this budget in maybe three large chunks. Um, the first one is around that 180 billion of excess um, tax revenue which was collected as a result of the commodity boom which was not budgeted for. And with respect to that aspect, um, we did get a signal from the SONA that about 40 to 45 billion of that will go to social relief, um, which is still a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and how it affected livelihoods in South Africa. Um, the second part of it, we expect this, we're not saying we are happy about it, but we do expect perhaps an allocation to SOEs such as Danel, um and maybe the South African Post Office. Would um, you prefer no money back to <laughs> This is a difficult one to, 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 to answer, Gareth. It's not that we would prefer no money, but we really feel that the support to SOEs need to be backed by a really concrete plan um, so that we know that once that money has been allocated to those SOEs, those institutions will at some point become financially sustainable. So in and of itself, allocation to SOEs may not be bad, but it is bad when you don't actually see, number one, those SOEs come to sustainability, and number two, that money actually being siphoned out of the fiscus through corruption. So that was the second part of it. Um, and then the third part is um, we need to reduce debt. We do know that we're sitting at quite a high debt-to-GDP level. Um, and also with the in increasing of interest rates, it means that our debt finance costs are consuming quite a bit of our fiscus. So if we do have a windfall, um, which is something that comes once in a while, um, we need to use that to reduce debt. Um, and the fourth aspect, um, is really just to maybe create a buffer um, for when that inevitable commodity slump comes. I think we've learned in the past in South Africa that when those commodity booms come, we tend to spend and spend and spend, and then when we go into a slump, we face 10, 15 years of just struggling to grow after that. So how do we, it's a very good point, Maya Fisher French, uh, one, of our, one of our financial experts, told us yesterday 21 cents, yes. 21 cents of every rand is going to service debt interest yes. in South Africa. It's a frightening number but to your point and I'm curious how we do this how do we get rid of our debt but also have a buffer we can't do both okay well that's the balancing act and that's why <laughs> we've got a finance minister and we've got a cabinet and we've got people in, in 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 government who are paid to plan and to do these scenario plannings and to balance these 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 aspects I mean I said that we need to spend money on social relief again do you pay do you spend on social relief or do you reduce debt you've got to kind of look at the swings and roundabouts and when you have an opportunity and that's why I, spe I specifically mentioned this sort of windfall if you could call it that and that's why I specifically mentioned it and you could use that as an opportunity to then reduce your debt. And so of all the things that the government needs to try and prioritize on I think uh, the, the phrase we've all been using now is this red tape team uh, that has come in as the black management forum uh, do you think that's going to change for the good the way our money and economy is being managed? So this brings me to sort of our second kind of big pillar as the, as the Black Management Forum. Our second thing was all, the, all of these aspects, essentially what we want to be prioritized are structural reforms in the country. We know that the president always speaks of five priority areas. We're very excited that we've had the same five priority areas for two years now. He mentioned it in last year's SONA and this year's SONA. You don't see that in South Africa. In South Africa you see five, 11 point plan, 12 point plan, one point plan, so they constantly change. So what we've um, been encouraged by is that we've had this five point plan around 
um, overcoming the COVID-19 pandemic, massive rollout of infrastructure, um, uh, employment stimulus, localization, and, and the energy generation capacity. But what we're saying is none of these are actually going to work without the structural reforms. And you've got the Operation Vulindlela, which is a collaboration between the presidency and, and national treasury. And it speaks about the structural reforms of electricity uh, stabilization. It speaks about water. It speaks about our transport infrastructure. And it speaks about digital communication. So for us, that's actually the focus area. If this red tape committee or red tape um, team. Uh, team is going to assist us to get the structure of our economy right, then, then, then we're happy with that. I'm going to leave this as my last question to you. I've, I've asked it of all the guests who've joined us here this morning. Uh, the Finance Minister, uh, I'm sure he's going to be sick of me by the end of this, uh, this crossing. The Finance Minister's left a paragraph open. He doesn't quite know what to put there ahead of 2 p.m. today. What does the Black Management Forum want to write there for the Finance Minister? You've got 30 seconds. He doesn't have much time. What are you telling him? The South African economy, despite all the plans and actions, continues to be hampered by unreliable electricity generation, um, inefficient network industries, and, um, and, 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 and that is where the focus should be. So as the finance minister, I'm actually going to spend and allocate a budget towards the structural reforms, which is energy, which is water, which is transport, and which is on digital communications. That's and where I'm going to spend the majority of my budget. And there you go, finance minister Ino Kodongwana, you now know how to finish your speech. <laughs> Respectfully, I'm sure it's been done weeks ago, but it's good to get the thoughts of Black Management uh, Forum. Uh, it's uh, Esete Mantua joining us this morning. Uh, for 2 o'clock uh, today, we'll get uh, the clarity of, of all the expectations, the wishes, the hopes of everyone we've spoken to, Tumelo, today here at the JSC and those that you've spoken to in Joburg and also that we've heard from down in Cape Town. How does the Finance Minister do this? It's a balancing act, as Esete says, where and how and when are we going to be able to get all these things right? That is what the finance minister has to do with. My thanks.